Wednesday morning finds me outside. It's about 10 o'clock, I guess. I'm shopping in the... Remember that little Beretta knife we got? I'm shopping it in on the wicked edge this morning. Coming along nice. The doorbell rang. One of my returning customers brought me a old straight bladed hunter called King's Fork USA a MY65. Wants me to sharpen it and clean it up for him some. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know anything about it. I'll look it up maybe with some on eBay or something. I can find out something about it. And the other one. It's a King's Fork as well. I don't even realize that. K I N F L F O L K S U S A. This one's a, oh, I can't make it out. 330 something four and a half. So I guess no, that could be a Q too. I'll get a better picture of that later and stick it in. It could be 33Q. Four and a half is probably the length. But you see, it's in the, not in the best condition. Okay, I'll get back to you. I'm finishing up on the 600 grit paddles now on this night. Wind is really picking up now. Blow the chairs all over. in my hole. I'm safe. Big old jack. I'm finishing up on this white ceramic paddles now. And I'll go to the polishing tapes. Well, we retired the walker. We're walking on our own. I suspect skateboarding, maybe rollerblading next week. Looks like they're getting ready to put up a house here. Or they just tore the one down on the walkway. They just put the electric pole in yesterday. Put the electricity in with you. Know. Well, a storm caught me, big storm, but it's blowed over for right now. I'll show you what I picked up in a minute. This is a nice section of Norfolk right here. I got the uh, hunting knives in the car. I got to take those back to the guy too. Stand by a few minutes. Let's get out of this uh, neighborhood. So here are the steak knives I picked up. Not to sharpen, but to see if I can fix the handles. She had a dozen. She threw three away that the handles actually fell off of. She didn't realize they could be fixed. She put them in the dishwasher. Williams and Sonoma sold them to her, said that they were dishwasher safe. She could put them in the dishwasher. 
Well, I don't know what the rivets are made out of, but you can see the discoloration from the caustic dishwasher soap. This one and that one. These two are the worst of what she gave me. Like I said, she threw three away. You see, that one's gone completely there. And this one here is just about gone. This one's halfway gone. And the other ones are just close to being gone. But like I said, I don't know what the pins are made out of. But I do have a call into the Henkel representative. Now, I don't know him, but you know I work for Williams and Sonoma on certain Sundays each month. And that's where they came from, so they do a lot of business with Henkel. So the lady's calling the guy and see what he says and see how to remedy the situation. I can't believe, well, the lady I talked to, who I deal with, said nobody in the store told her they were dishwasher safe in the first place. But that's what she said, so it's who said what said when they said it, so to speak. <laughs> Okie dokie. Stand by for more. Oh, wait a minute. I'll get back to you. While I was out, one of my stops was close to the uh, Woodcraft store. Twenty some bucks. I got a set of these diamond sharpening surfaces. Fine is uh, green. No, extra fine is green. Fine is red. Blue is coarse. Stand by, let's get them out of there. You see they're thick, but right there to get, it's just the diamond itself. Wafer thin right there. And you get right in there, almost perfect. This might be the ticket right here. If the diamonds don't wear off too fast. Coarse. Fine. Ultra fine. We're working with the cores. This seems to fit right in there perfect. Right angle and everything. Just that front part. I'll sharpen it up a little bit and get a tomato and give it a try in about an hour. I'll get back to you on that. I see you. Push the button. So on the back it tells you. It said the blue is 45 micron, which is coarse. The red is 25 micron. And the green is 9 micron. Keto. Well, we had our dinner. Everybody's relaxing. Scooter, she's uh, finishing her dinner up. She's the last one to eat. Mama, I'm passed out, she said. You smell that dog? I was around today. The guy with the hut and I had two dogs when I took his knives back. One of them was a short-haired German pointer. 
a real friendly one. Look at her. She said, oh, what's that, what's that going on here? I don't like that smell around you. You smell like a dog, a different dog. Yeah, what's with that? What's with that? Big Jack says, I don't care. It's Big O Jack.